Hey y'all, TRG here, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be going over the potential for multiple tornado outbreaks this week, as well as the potential for significant severe weather early next week, and the potential for severe weather today. Let's go right on into today's video. Let's start out with the GFS 500 millibar wind speed. So currently, this is what we're looking at. We're looking at a large trough across the western United States. This is going to bring the potential for some severe weather in South Dakota and Nebraska later on today, most likely in the form of very significant hail up to about 2.5 inch in diameter and a couple tornadoes. Also, some damaging winds up to 70 miles per hour will be possible. Then going on into tomorrow, that's when things change significantly as this trough rapidly develops into a very classic, sharply negative negatively tilted trough ejection here, especially going through the early afternoon hours. So severe storms should begin likely as soon as 1 p.m. Eastern time. That's noon central time up in Minnesota as we have a very large area of defluence aloft. So a large area where thunderstorms should be firing and it will likely be in the form of a clustered line. So we're looking at damaging winds potentially as high as 90 miles per hour. Large hail potentially as large as three inch in diameter. And a couple strong tornadoes, maybe even a long track tornado will be possible, specifically out here in Wisconsin into Minnesota, maybe as far north as into northern Illinois and northern Indiana as well. A large area under the gun for very significant severe weather for tomorrow, uh, but the main area will be focused in that general area I just circled there. Then as we go throughout the rest of Thursday, you'll see it continues to just really intensify and stay up there in the north central U.S. There will be the chance for multiple super supercells, probably semi-discrete supercells, into the overnight hours. Those may pose an all-hazards threat, including a conditional strong tornado threat very early Friday morning, extremely late Thursday night. Then going into Friday, this trough is going to rapidly eject even further and even faster into the central U.S., where we will likely see the potential for another tornado outbreak going in Illinois, Indiana, Missouri, Arkansas, back out into probably southwest Ohio as as well as into Tennessee and Kentucky into Friday. Then going on into Saturday, there's a lot of uncertainty on what may unfold on Saturday, but we should have the chance for at least a couple severe storms somewhere generally in this vicinity on Saturday, May 17th. Pushing this out even further into Sunday, we will have the opportunity for some severe storms in Kansas and Oklahoma. It doesn't look that notable at this moment for Sunday on May 18th. Then on Monday, May 19th, this trough should traverse through Kansas and Oklahoma, likely causing a significant severe weather episode there. Then as it moves through on Tuesday, May 20th, we may also have the chance for more significant severe weather back out in much of the same area. There's a lot of uncertainty on exact placement, but it looks like Sunday and Monday severe threat should be really Kansas and Oklahoma. And then going into Tuesday, I believe it's going to shift at least a little bit further east, but by how much, there's a little too much uncertainty to say at this point. Before before we continue on into the rest of today's video, I ask that you guys hit that like button, share this video with your family, friends, and on social media. And if you're new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button with the notification bell set to all so you know when I go live or upload a video. Let's go right back on into today's video. So this is the Supercell composite for today, and we're not expecting much at all out here. Some isolated severe weather, maybe a severe storm or two can't be fully ruled out. But all this ingredients is really just going to go to waste today as we're really not expecting much severe weather outside of from South Dakota back to southern and central Nebraska. Then going on into tomorrow on Thursday, watch how quickly this environment, it just, it explodes as we go through the midday. So already by about noon, we are seeing supercell composite values up into the six and sevens up here in Wisconsin and Minnesota. Now it's probably going to be a lot more volatile than that because cam models like the HRRR and the NAM 3K have a much more favorable environment for today. We'll go over the HRRR in just a bit. Then going into the overnight hours, we're probably going to see a conditional threat for a strong tornado out there in Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, and Michigan going through Friday. And you see Friday's probably going to have a very large area of supercell composite as well, but there will be a capping issues. Not everybody under the threat for severe weather on Friday is going to see severe storms, but a lot of this area is going to be under the gun for severe weather. We'll see exactly who sees severe storms by the time we get to their day one outlook, uh, but they already have issued an enhanced risk in some of these areas. So we're looking at at least the chance for a couple strong tornadoes, uh, very widespread damage 
damaging winds and a couple instances of large to very large hail. Biggest issue on Friday is probably going to be uh, tornadoes. If we can see any discrete supercells form in the open warm sector or right along the cold front, specifically in southern Illinois, southern Indiana, and west northwest Kentucky on Friday. Going into Saturday, it looks like capping and just the fact that the trough is going to be weak will probably hold back any significant severe weather, but there should be at least the chance for some severe storms generally in this vicinity going through Saturday. Uh, maybe the chance for a brief tornado or two, but I don't see Saturday being a big day for severe weather. Sunday, we'll have the chance for severe storms along a dry line in Kansas back out into Oklahoma and uh, Texas there, but a lot of uncertainty on if the cap will erode. Same goes for Monday. Much of the same area should be under the gun for severe weather, but a lot of questions on if that cap will erode and how many storms will be able to fire. Then going on into Tuesday, that should spread at least somewhat more to the east and put areas like Missouri, Arkansas, Tennessee, and back into the Midwest under the gun for severe weather yet again. So for today, we're not going to see much in terms of tornadic activity. There will be the opportunity for a few spin-up tornadoes in Nebraska, maybe as far as an extreme northern Kansas late tonight. Uh, a conditional strong tornado threat does exist, especially after 9 p.m. Eastern time. But personally, I don't think we're going to see much of a notable tornado threat out of today. Mainly significant damaging winds up to 80 miles per hour will be the biggest issue for tonight. Uh, then going on into tomorrow, we're going to move over to the uh, portions of the western and northwestern side of the Midwest U.S., where we will see the opportunity for rapid development of supercells, specifically back up here in Minnesota and Wisconsin. You can see a lot of supercells, embedded supercells along a line should form around the Twin Cities in Minnesota, back down towards like near La Crosse, Wisconsin, going towards 4 p.m., 5 p.m. Central Time. Those storms should be rapidly developing with the potential of all significant hazards, and like I said, could get gusts as high as 90 miles per hour tomorrow. Then going into the late evening hours, close towards 7, 8 p.m., we're going to watch for supercells to develop back out here around Chicago, uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, all the way back out towards southwest Michigan, northern Illinois, northwestern Indiana. We're going to keep an eye for some semi-discrete supercells, potentially causing uh, conditional significant all-hazards threat. And then we actually are going to see more supercells potentially develop towards 10, 11 p.m. on uh, Thursday night, very early morning Friday, back out in uh, Ohio, Indiana. Very conditional risk. We'll see if any fire. There is a chance that we don't see much severe storms fire there. You can see also the isolated supercell closer towards 1, 2 a.m. possible out there in Ohio, but HRRR doesn't have much coming out from that. Then as we go on into Friday, we have to use a lower resolution model than NAM 3K, but at least just to show you what we're looking at for Friday, we should see multiple supercells fire in Missouri, Southern Illinois, and then move on into Southern Illinois. Illinois, Western Kentucky, Southeast Missouri towards about 6 p.m. Eastern time where the environment will be very volatile for likely strong tornadoes, potentially a long track tornado as well could be possible going into Friday. Now let's take a look at all your SPC outlooks. This is the SPC outlook for today. We have a quite large marginal risk level one out of five for severe weather really centered over mainly South Dakota, Nebraska, and into North Dakota with that slight risk being in the middle of your marginal there. Uh, the main tornado risk will mainly be focused across the southern portion of this, as you can see here, 5% tornado risk out there in central Nebraska. Uh it's quite conditional. It really is quite conditional. We could see some spin-up tornadoes along the line, and like I said, a conditional strong tornado threat after dark with any semi-discrete storms that may be able to fire, say, like northwest of Hastings in uh, south-central Nebraska. But the main issue will be severe wind, upwards of 70, maybe even an isolated gust could approach uh, 80 miles per hour, maybe in central or northeastern Nebraska later on tonight. And then, of course, a large hail is actually uh, hatched out here over North Platte and South Central Nebraska there for the potential of about 2.5 inch hail being possible. Then going on into tomorrow, the risk is significantly larger. We have a huge uh, marginal risk, level 1 out of 5. That actually goes all the way back down to, you can't even see it, but the North Carolina and Virginia coastline, as well as way back out into central Texas, and then a slight risk up here in Missouri through much of the Midwestern U.S., and then a enhanced risk for all significant hazards being possible there, centered over much of Wisconsin, back out into Michigan and Indiana. Of course, we are looking at the potential for significant tornadoes 
close on this day tomorrow for Thursday, May 15th. Uh, they have introduced that 10 significant hatched risk for tornadoes. Potentially a long track tornado can't be fully ruled out either. I wouldn't be shocked if that hatched risk does get expanded a little bit more to the northwest. We'll see what they do in the overnight hours. I'm unsure about them uh, pushing that 10 hatch into like Michigan, Illinois, Indiana. I think it's just too conditional for a 10 hatch to be introduced past like the Milwaukee or into the Chicago area for tomorrow. Then, of course, for damaging winds, very large 30% chance for damaging winds. 80 to 90 miles per hour will be possible. Uh, they will most likely end up adding a hatched 30% risk back up in this area where confidence is the highest in that 80 to 90 mile per hour wind gust threat being a possibility. Also, very widespread large hail upwards of 3 inch in diameter, maybe even isolated could be higher than that, uh, is likely across portions of Minnesota back out into much of Wisconsin, uh, Illinois, Indiana, and Indiana to Michigan. Then going on into Friday, this is their new day three outlook. They have introduced the enhanced risk back out now into Illinois, Indiana, and Missouri. Quite large level three out of five introduced there. Slight risk goes all the way back down to the Texarkana area, all the way back up towards almost into Charleston, West Virginia. Uh, we don't have any probabilities for this yet because it is their day three outlook, but this is just your overall chance for severe weather. And they have added a 30 and a large 15 hatched area for likely significant damaging winds as well as significant significantly large hail. Uh, also could see a few significant tornadoes on this day. Uh, I think that's really going to come down to how discreet storms are on Friday. So uh, definitely some uncertainty still remains there, but at least looking at widespread severe weather being possible with significant severe weather also being likely. Then we go on in here to their day four through eight outlook. So this is their day five outlook for Sunday, May 18th. And you can see we do have a new slight risk introduced over portions of Oklahoma, Texas, and into Southern Kansas. That will likely exp expand slightly going through the uh, upcoming outlooks. I don't expect too much of a change for Sunday unless we see uh, big time shifts in the trough. Now that's a bit different for Monday. You can't see the whole risk, but it does go all the way up into central Kansas. I wouldn't be shocked if we see an even larger expansion for Monday's risk. Monday looks to be probably another significant day for all hazards as well as Tuesday. They haven't introduced anything for Tuesday, but most likely we will see a 15% introduced back out into Missouri and Arkansas going into Tuesday, May, May uh, 20th there. All right, y'all, that's going to do it for today's video. I appreciate you tuning in. Make sure you leave a like and also share this video with your family, friends, social media if you haven't already. I greatly appreciate it, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.